Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with JumpstartYourMarketing.com and international best-selling author, yay. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, something that's been bugging me for a few months now, and uh, it's about email marketing. Do you ever feel like nobody's listening? <laughs> Why am I doing this when it comes to your email marketing? Well, it could be other marketing strategies too, I suppose, that you're doing that may not be working also. But um, when I first started my business back in 2002, yes, it's been a long time, email marketing was pretty much the second best way to hold, get a hold of somebody. Uh, whether it was in, for, in phone or in person was actually the best way. And it still is really the best way to get a hold of somebody, frankly, on the phone. Uh, it was, but email was so new and people loved it. They loved getting emails. We looked forward to getting emails back in 2002, okay? Uh, and now though, man, you never know if your emails are even getting through the spam filters, the firewalls, the the spam arrest things people have going on because they just don't want spam. And I get it because I get a lot of spam too. I don't want spam. I want the emails that I actually subscribe to and, and want to get, right? But sometimes those even still fall into the trash of the spam box. Even my own emails that I send out to you guys will fall into my spam or trash because they had some kind of trigger word in them or something. So it's, it's, it's just really getting upsetting because email sure is an easy way to get your message out to a lot of people, right? And for the most part, it's free. I mean, yeah, we have email marketing services or shopping carts that we have to usually pay a monthly service for. That's fine. It's the cost of doing business, right? But it's basically free. I mean, it's pretty inexpensive to do that. So I get it when my clients tell me that they don't see response when they send an email. Therefore, why bother? Why bother, Katrina? Why should I be sending emails? Well, I know many of you have to be feeling the same disappointment when it comes to your email marketing too, right? So what do we do about it, right? Do we not send emails? That is not the answer, unfortunately. I, you know, I wish it was just so easy where I could send an email and I'd get 50 people signed up for my event or I'd get 20 people signed up for a coaching call or a free strategy session. It just doesn't happen anymore. It's like, it's like chirp, 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 nobody's listening, right? And I, the thing that keeps me going though, and keep sending those emails pretty regularly, once a week usually, um, every once in a while more, every once in a while I'll skip a week, um, but it's those of you that are opening, and those of you that are reading, and those of you that actually respond, take a moment to send a reply, because I read those. I don't have an assistant reading my emails. It's me, right? And so if you have questions or if you have a comment, you reply to those emails and you're going to get me, right? That's, that's pretty rare these days, actually. People either... I mean, I respond to every once in a while to somebody's email and nobody sees it or their assistant replies and I never actually gets to the person that I want it to. So I am here, I just wanted to let you know that I'm here to serve you, inspire you, motivate you and educate you on how to start up, grow and monetize a business that you're passionate about. That's why I'm here on this planet. That's what I do for, uh, for, for fun and for a living. Uh, if no one else cares to stop and read what I send, then that's too bad for them. I send great content, right? Things like this that we have to get over ourselves and get over that negative feelings that we have and keep pushing through and keep doing the things that we know will build a consistent money-making business. I know I still get clients from email marketing. I know it. It's just fewer and far between. But if you know the lifetime value of your client, then it's all worth it, right? Especially if you have a higher value, right? So I'm a constant learner. In fact, I'm learning a brand new program all about monetizing your YouTube channel and your videos right now. So you'll see me doing, a, well, I do a lot of videos anyways, and I love doing Facebook Live as well as videos on my website and in my emails and things like that. But they don't really get a lot of play on my YouTube channel. So it's something I'm really digging my teeth into right now is learning a lot more about how to maximize and monetize the videos and the things that I'm already doing on YouTube. And I want to share that stuff with you as I go. So please make sure you're opening your emails because you never know what's going to come out of my mouth uh, or my email <laughs> uh, with things that I'm learning because I'm just, I love to share that information as I get it. And uh, so one of the things I'm doing at my next event in November 
in case you haven't seen that I'm doing an event uh, because you haven't opened the emails, it's 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 my jumpstart your business in a weekend, and it's but it's never the same content. So whether you think you need it or not, or I don't know why it is that people don't think they're either they either think they they're not ready for it yet, Katrina. Well, when I'm when I know what I'm doing my business, then I'll come to you for marketing. Well. That's crazy talk because I help people from the big picture of what they're doing all the way down to the nitty gritty of what you need to do every day. So coming to me sooner than later is really what you want to do and people kick themselves. I hear them say that all the time when they come to an event and go, oh my God, why didn't I come to your event like three years ago or four years ago? It would have really saved me a lot of time and money in the wrong places. So I really want to invite you to come in November. We're going to be talking a lot more about YouTube and video marketing, whether you feel comfortable with it or not. Um, I'm going to show you how to get comfortable because sometimes we just need to get more clarity and confidence around what we're speaking on or what we look like or what we sound like or some of the technology and really understand. It's not, it's not a lot. There's not a big learning curve with video, you guys. So, but there is a lot of learning curve with monetizing what you're doing with videos and YouTube and social media. And so this particular event in November is all going to be, uh, it's going to be very video, social media heavy, um, still talking about speaking in books, anything that can get you more exposure, better positioning as an expert and, um, more reach with more people because that's what brings more people into your funnel and then trickles people in through your sales process. So those are some of the things that I'm going to be sharing at this November event. And you, you know, honestly, it's, it's where I share my best tips and strategies. And usually with my VIP clients or my live big mastermind is where I go into depth on training, but my live events is where I also go into depth. And they're smaller events. They're about 50, 60 people. And so I have time to talk to and get to know every single one in the room. So it's not like a big event where you're lost in the crowd and the person on stage doesn't even know that you're there or can't talk to you specifically with what you need. It's very channeled and targeted to who's in the room and what do you guys need. And that I do that on purpose. And I still keep the cost down. So the cost is very reasonable to attend any of my events, but uh, I really want you to consider attending, right? So it's time to um, work less and make more. I'm still working on this myself, believe me, as, I, as I'm talking this to you. I'm constantly trying to improve my systems, uh, delegate more things, and but I keep adding projects to my plate, just like probably you too, right? I just have new ideas yesterday, and how am I going to implement it? Well, I can't fit it into my day-to-day -day yet, but I'm going to make it happen probably in the next quarter, right? So I love what I do, and you should too, but I really have to work on what I consciously add to my plate each year. And so we have to be careful and pick our projects, and then we have to do things in order of importance in order to make the money. And for the majority of us entrepreneurs, it's slow and steady wins the race. It's not like let's make 100000 in a weekend because that the days of doing that are a little uh, few and far between these days. And the people that you see doing it is a very teeny tiny percentage of those of us out there in the world. I've made $100,000 in a weekend twice, actually. Um, and I make pretty good money at my events. But the, I make money consistently all year long, too, and that's the key is that consistent revenue-generating machine that you can build because roller coaster cash flow sucks. It really does. So 16 years I'm into my business, I'm really still focused on the revenue-generating activities, you guys, every single week. I avoid making phone calls, too. I don't know if you guys do it, but I mean, I was just talking to a client yesterday and speaking to a group this week as well. And I said, the number one thing you want to do to get clients is make phone calls. And then I cringe because I need to make my own phone calls, right? So I get it. I get that the, the things that I'm telling you, I'm still doing. I'm still sometimes battling with my own mindset around getting done as well. But we have to keep plugging through and we have to hold each other accountable. And that's what I want to do with you when you come to my event and or enter into any of my programs. Um, I'm just so passionate about helping you build a consistently profitable business doing what you love. Uh, and the difference is that I've uh, been able to build a really good base of revenue coming in each month. So I'm not stressed about money or making the next sale. So I can give back 
much more now when I'm at my events because I'm not constantly worried, right? And I know some of you are. And you're probably thinking, well, I have to pay to come to the event, I have to pay to travel or the hotel or whatever. But I'm telling you, this is the best training you'll ever get for being an entrepreneur, running your business efficiently, being productive with your marketing strategies, and knowing how to make the money, period. Because it's going to be more specific to you and your business. It's going to be more intimate. And you just, um, you just have to trust. You have to trust it will all work out in the end. You have to trust me when I tell you that I'm going to help you. Me personally, okay? Now there's other people out there that'll say, I'm gonna help you at my event, and then they have 400 people. They don't help you at your their event, right? There's nothing wrong with 400 person events. They're great for networking and collaboration partners, but if you really wanna come and learn what to implement and learn what to do, say, post, and send, you wanna come to my event. I'm telling you, I have three to four a year, but the next one, you need to change your plans and get there. If you don't want to wait till the next one, you don't want to wait till six months from now to, to start really making a lot more money consistently in your business. You want to do it now. Let's do it now. It's less than four weeks away. Um, and I want you to uh, take a deep breath because I, I know sometimes I'm like a fire hose. <laughs> uh, but I make it easy. I have systems. I have structures for everything that you need to do. And I want to share all of it with you and what I've learned this year and last year. And I do that at my events. And like I said, they're always changing. So if you've been there before, you want to come back. I have clients that come back every, every event for five or six times because they're always learning something new. There's always something to do next. There's always a next step. There's always something new idea that you have to implement and figure out how to monetize. So, um... You know, maybe you can't see yourself flying across the country or even to the next state and staying in a hotel. Maybe you just don't get what you could possibly learn and retain in three days with me that would make it worth your while. Maybe your circumstances are such that you have to take care of a loved one and you just can't escape your life right now for your own pleasure. And you can tell yourself that story or you can change your story and come rewrite it in November with me. One of my clients who came a little over a year ago to my events um, she wanted to come so bad. She was in my Facebook group and she would ask questions and I would respond to her and we would have these dialogues and she wasn't a client yet. In fact, we messaged back and forth a lot and she said that, you know, I just don't have the money to come. I don't know how I'm going to get the money to come, but I really want to be there. And I forget if it was finally a phone conversation or just the fact that I was spending so much time trying to support her in her decision that she decided she could ask a family member for a loan to come out. She lived on the East Coast and she was scared to death, I remember, and she was a huge introvert to boot, right? Uh, the total opposite of me. But don't worry, I take care of my introverts in my room. And boy, I couldn't wait to get my hands on her at the event. And I did, of course, in a very loving way because she was so motivated to make that money back that she borrowed. When I asked attendees to share their easy yes offers, that's what I teach. One of the things I teach at the event is how to make easy yes offers. And then, uh, you know, we have them make offers in the room and people make money. And believe it or not, it totally works and people make money. And she stood right up and made an offer at that event that she attended. And she literally walked away with well over a thousand dollars in her pocket at that event. It was enough to pay back the loan that she took from her friend and pay all her expenses for that event and travel. But what she got out of it more than just the money was the confidence. The confidence and that that is huge. The confidence that she can do this anywhere. She could now, uh, she's taking on clients left and right and she's even leaping out into uncomfortable waters once again by writing a very intimate story about her past in the book. It's a very intimate, vulnerable story and she's scared to write it. And I'm helping her and holding her accountable and really nurturing that process for her so that she can get step into that confidence, step into being more comfortable around that. And it's really a, an important story to tell for mom entrepreneurs. And so I'm so excited for her, right? So, but what if she had not come? What if she had not gotten the courage to even ask for, to borrow money? Right? I've borrowed money before to do things that I needed in my business and I've paid it right back. Right, And sometimes I've borrowed money and it took me a while to pay it back. But regardless, I paid it back. 
And it's, it is a humbling experience. I get that. But I'm telling you, what if you don't come? What happens if you don't do this? I mean, yes, there's a lot of free stuff on the internet. There's also $200 programs here and $100 there and $500 programs over there. But is it really going to get you that personal, personal plan that you need, that personal attention that you need to know exactly what you're doing and have clarity and confidence and focused action steps that you can take? It probably isn't. Those do-it-yourself programs, I have some for sale, trust me, I know, and I've taken them. The do-it-yourself programs, though, don't tell you, hey, Katrina, this is what you need to do exactly for your clients and your website and your emails and what you're doing. No, that's what I do. That's what I do and why I'm different, right? And so when people ask me, what am I going to get by coming to your event, Katrina, I just have to shake my head because it's so hard to say. Although I'm a brilliant marketer, I'm not as good as some of the other experts out there who pull in 400 attendees into their events. Otherwise, I'd have 400 attendees too, right? But I also think I have that different energy. And my events, again, they average around 50 people. But you know what? That's the new trend these days too. It's about a smaller, more intimate groups, retreats, and places where people can really get the attention, the coaching, and the insight, and the breakthroughs, and the connection that you're looking for. You can also get clients and make money, by the way, when you come to me. I mean, you're totally lo really longing for sitting in a room with, uh, are you really longing for sitting in a room with three, 300 to 1,000 people? I, I know that intimidates me even, and I'm a huge extrovert. So, do you know, do you really believe by doing that, you're going to walk away with huge, like real tangible strategies, right? It's possible for sure, and it happens. But if you only can choose one or two events to travel to each year, which would you prefer, right? The really big one or the small intimate one that you're going to get laser focused on your next steps? Which one's going to get you to your next level quickest, right? Hey, and I'm not knocking these big events. I go to them too. Uh, but, you know, I go to them for different reasons. I go to them to network and, and actually get clients from them. It's not about the learning necessarily. So think about what you need to learn right now, then invest in that. And if you don't know what you need to learn, then you definitely want to join me because I will help get you clarity around that and put things in order of importance for you. And then even give you suggestions, you know, if it's not working with me, then what things do you need to do first, second, and third? So many entrepreneurs don't have those next steps laid out and that's why they're running around with their head cut off or their wheels are spinning and you're not making money because you're doing too many little things all over the place and you're not really focused. So I hope this was made sense and made you think about this in a different way and was hopefully inspiring as well to you know really take charge of your life. I want you to make a bigger impact with what you love and helping more people and doing what you're doing and I want to show you how to do that if you aren't sure of how to do that or what you're doing now isn't working. I'm really, really, really good at this. And yes, you have to just trust me on that or take the word of about three to four dozen people if you want to go looking at my testimonials or watch some of the video testimonials on YouTube and my website. There's a lot of people that I've worked with, thousands and thousands of people over the last 16 years. And, you know... They're not, they're not canned responses. They're honest to, most people say, I love the fact that you kicked me in my butt. I love the fact that I got tangible action steps. I love the fact that I got so much clarity and understanding on what to do. And I just want to urge you to take that next step and trust me for this event. Three days with me is like a, a year's worth of training from somebody else. No joke. And, but I make it very simplified and organized as to what you need to do um, for over the next few months. And I just, you know, I want to encourage you to come. So go to the website. It's jumpstartyourbizinaweekend.com. Jumpstartyourbizinaweekend.com. Now, it's not the flashiest page on there, the most modern looking page. And there's a bunch of other event web pages that... I look at, they're like, oh, I should do my event page like that. But you know what? What I say on that page is actually what you're going to get. And no joke, that's why I did this video, because I really want you to hear my heart. 
I really want you to hear that I, um, the energy that I have and the passion that I have for you and helping you. And that's what you're going to get out of this event. Regardless of what the web page says, I mean, this is what you're going to get. And I want to get my hands on your business so I can show you how to make more money faster and you can stop struggling. You can stop worrying about how to pay the bills every month and where the next sale is coming from. I want you to build that successful, consistent money-making business model. And I, I get you. I want to I wanna get in front of you so that I can see more about what you're doing. I can hear what you're doing and what your concerns are and I can speak directly to those and if this is for you, then step up and please come and play with me and let's get your business dialed in for the remainder of 2018 and all of 2019. Just go to jumpstartyourbizinaweekend.com. There are three bonus, there's some bonuses on that page, but there's also three great speakers. And I, honestly, as of today, I haven't even had time to put them on the page yet. And so we have uh, Jill Lublin's coming to talk about how to get more exposure in your business with public uh, PR. And Katarina Rando's coming. We, uh, we haven't played together before, but uh, she is really focused on helping people now build uh, live events and retreats. And so I'm excited because that's the way, what I love to do too in my business. So it's a great business model. And she's going to talk all about that. And then I've got Holly Porter coming from Utah, and she's talking about how to really get a handle on understanding the personalities of your prospects and your clients so that you can actually um, have a better relationship with them, which is going to bring in more sales, right? And I'm just really excited all, all around. There's some great other people coming, and I know that you're going to get so much out of meeting the other attendees uh, in addition to what I'm teaching. Um, all it takes is a decision, though, a decision to make a different life for yourself and a decision to step up and take charge of your life. And I'm all about helping you get more love in your life and money in your business so you can live the life that you want. And I hope to see you in November, uh, November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd here in Sacramento, California. And just go to jumpstartyourbizinaweekend.com and sign up today. I want to see you there. Okay. Bye, you guys. Talk to you soon.